I am Bishop Oliver Deme Daishé, the Catholic Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Maiduguri, northeastern part of Nigeria. The serious problems Nigeria faces today began with the formation of Boko Haram, which means Western education is evil. The group's initial aim was to purify Islam in northern Nigeria. In 2019, after the killing of its founder, Muhammad Yusufu, Abubakar Shikau took over and a campaign of insurgency began. The attacks consist of suicide bombers and armed assaults on civilian and military targets. They also routinely kidnap people, most famously the Chibo girls in 2014, when 276 mostly Christian girls were kidnapped, 112 of whom were still missing until an unconfirmed number escaped this year. Nigerian Human Rights Organization InterSociety estimates that the resulting conflict has killed up to 12,000 Christians since June 2015. Overall, at least 36,000 people have died as a result of the conflict. The United Nations estimate that 1.4 million children have been displaced by the violence. Additionally, Islamized Fulani Hesmen have been attacking Christians in the Middle Belt of Nigeria for the last few years. These groups have deliberately attempted to demoralize Christians by the attacking during the Holy Festival of Christmas. For example, in 2020, Boko Haram attacked in Pemi, Chibok on Christian Eve, killing 11 people and raising two church buildings to the ground. In 2019, Boko Haram killed seven in a Christmas Eve attack. On Boxing Day 2019, Islamic State West Africa Province, Iswat, released a video showing the beheading of 10 Christians and the shooting of one Muslim. The religious component in this conflict is clear. On January 8, 2020, four seminarians were kidnapped from the Good Shepherd Seminary in Kaduna. Three of them were eventually released but the final one, 18 year old Michael Nadi, was killed. In an interview with Nigerian paper, The Daily Sun, Mustafa Mohammed, currently in jail, said he killed Nadi because he continued preaching the gospel and asking me to change my evil ways. That is why I killed him. This has Similarities with the case of Leah Sharibu, who was kidnapped by Boko Haram with 109 older schoolgirls in 2018, when she was 14. However, she was the only one not released due to her refusal to renounce her Christian faith and convert to Islam. Muslims have also fallen foul of the violence. For example, the Adamawa State Chapter of Muslim Council said that between 2013 and 2017, in the state of Adamawa, 5,247 Muslims were killed by Boko Haram. In 2017, a suicide bomber uh, struck a mosque in Adamawa State and killed more than 50 people. Many other such attacks take place regularly. Unfortunately, the threat has spread beyond Nigeria and the Sahel region has now become a heaven for groups, including Boko Haram, that have pledged allegiance to the Islamic State, Chad, Mali, Niger, and Nigeria are all fighting the spread of extremism. 
elsewhere the Islamic State declared its central African province in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in 2019. Attacks in Zimbabwe increased dramatically in the last two years, killing up to 2,000 people and making 310,000 people homeless. Following the defeat of Daesh, that is ISIS in Iraq and Syria, Africa has become a new epicenter for extremism. For the threat to be countered, it will require international collaboration and the states of Africa working together to defeat a common enemy. For those who wish to help, alongside supporting organizations such as Aids of the Church in Need, that is ACN, I ask that you pray for the end of the violence, in particular the Rosary. Back in 2014, in front of the Blessed Sacrament where I was praying, I received a vision of Jesus. He offered me a sword in that vision, which then turned into a rosary. He told me that Boko Haram is gone three times and he disappeared. And since then, we have been uh, uh, praying the rosary and engaging in other Marian devotions in the entire diocese. And Mama Mary is really helping us to defeat our enemy. That is why we find that a lot of uh, miracles have been happening. And one of such is that the priests have not been touched. No priest has been touched by Boko Haram. And I too have not been touched by Boko Haram. It's a clear sign that our Mother Mary is protecting us. And so with fervent prayer and fervent devotion to Our Lady, the enemy will certainly be defeated. Please join me in praying that the Lord will restore peace and prosperity to our diocese and the entire country, Nigeria. And may God, whose power is at work in us, is powerful enough and more than powerful enough to carry out his purpose beyond all our hopes and dreams, be glorified in the church and in Christ Jesus to the last generation of eternity. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. Thank you and God bless you all.